Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Pokemon Green. Uh, that is the way out, so let's go this way. And get attacked by bloody Zubat. Anyway, uh, no change to the team. No, see, my team is still slightly hurt. Well, only Beast and, um, Elvis are. Technically, if it comes down, uh, Beast and Elvis have lost all their, like, warp moves, we can always call on, um, uh, Jeff. Anyway, we'll take this guy on. Hmm, lost your way? No, actually, I just thought I'd, uh, come over and challenge you, because you seem like a bit of a dickweed. Anyway, um, damn, I swore again. Here are. Onyx first up. Uh, thank God it's Beast versus Beast. Here we go. However, Onyx, uh, Steelix versus, uh, yeah, a Steelix versus Beast would be a lot better. But that's not gonna happen. Not in this gen, anyway. Uh, delegating another Onyx. Hmm, you've got two Onyx. Uh, let's bring Jeff in for this one. Jeff's got digs, so Jeff should be able to beat Onyx about as easily as the other two. Uh, we got Dig Hole. And even though it says Heavy Boxing, Mega Punch is not a fighting move. It's actually still not a fighting move. It still counts technically. Even now, it still counts as a normal move. So does Mega Kick, by the way. They still both count as, all of, as normal moves instead of fighting moves. Which I always thought was a bit odd. Now, Jeff wins. And lastly, it is... Ooh, that's a bit of a come down from, um, from Onyx. Oh, let's go for a Geodude now. You could have at least gone Graveler. That would have been, like, the the, mo the toughest opponent in this if he had two Onyx and a Graveler. But no, he's just got two Onyx and then a Geodude, which does a little bit of damage, and now he's going to be burnt alive. Burn! Dead. Nice. Level up for Jeff. Woo! Jeff levels up. By the way, I got two stories about, like, uh, this game. One was Pokemon Red. Yeah, we've done that bit. Um, and I chose Charmander to kick things off. And actually, I had a Charizard by the time I got to Misty. Mainly because I didn't catch any other Pokemon on the way. But I had a Charizard when I got to Misty. Because I kept losing to Misty. And star me because all I had was a Charizard. It was a very high level Charizard, but it was still a Charizard. And it kept getting beaten and all that stuff. Anyway. We're gonna go here, there's nothing there. See, so yeah, that's the first story. The second story is Um in primary school. This is before I got my Pokemon game. There was a guy, I think a few, I think two years above me, I think it was called Reese. I can't remember his name. He was about two years above me. I was year two at the time. Was I year one? No, he was a year above me, I was year two, he was year three. Gotcha, right. Anyway, and, um... He would play Pokemon Blue, I think. On a bench, just outside, um, the school, uh, building. And there'd be, like, a lot of his... Oh god, we've run out of, um, water guns, okay. And there'd be, like, a lot of his mates, you know, just watching and whatever. And then there'd be me. You know, I'd watch him whatever, and what I'd do is that... I'd, I'd sort of know his name. I don't know what his name is now, but I would know his name. So one lunchtime, I went into the uh, I went into the year three classroom, and we had like drawers where we could um, like put all our stuff. Like for example, our our pencil cases and our books we were reading at the time. Yeah, we had to read books. We were a Church of England school. Sucked. Has it converted me? No, I'm still atheist. Anyway. Not an angry atheist, just an ordinary one. Anyway. Um, and basically, I found his uh, Nintendo Game Boy. I took the Nintendo Game Boy out and I just played on it for a bit. Saved the game and then put it back. Things that I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to play Pokemon because I hadn't played any Pokemon game before. And I think I fainted most of his Pokemon. So if you're watching, yeah. It was me! That's the first time we're going up against a, um, that. First time we're going up against a Jigglypuff, it's called Puddy. Anyway, oh, that did a lot of damage. No, don't disable, oh, yeah, oh, disable Paralyzed Power, okay, that's fine. That's fine, because I'm going to beat you now with my sword skill. Well done, Paris. You win. Next up, Bobo. Ah. Um. 
I said first thought would be Louis, but we're not using Louis, so we're going to use Epe instead. Uh. Ha ha! Attack! Attack with your furious fury! Yes! And lastly, Nis. That's Meowth. Back to Paris, it looks like. So yeah, that's two quite odd stories about, like, things in Pokemon. Oh yeah, and when I first got Pokemon, I got Pokemon's red and blue with my Nintendo Game Boy Color. Um, I called my, uh, because on blue I had a Blastoise and I called it blue. Um, and on red I got a Charmander and I called it Lab. Because it came from a laboratory. I know, it was stupid names. These are before the days of Jeff. And I normally call like a war like a like a, a squirrel. I normally call him Shelly. Usually. Just because it's a fun name. You know, or Blaster or Blaster or, you know. You know, something watery. You know, like I don't know. What is another one I normally use. Anyway, Paris levels up. And we win against the Girl Scout. Yes. Anyway, we're gonna go up here. Is there anything up here? I don't know. Zubat. All right. I'll keep Paris in. Why not? Or oh, Parasect. Cur no, not a critical. Just a um. Oh, he's gonna suck blood on me. How dare you! Both could be critical, both could be super effective, but mine's better! Because Paris is a monster. Yes! Win! On so many levels. We get some experience for that. Anything up here? No. Just a Pokemon fight. It's another Zubat. Yay. We might actually have to spend two bloody, um... Yeah, might have to spend two videos here. That's gonna be bad. If you have to spend two videos in this bleeding cave. Anyway, he's gonna try and suck my blood again, but I'm just gonna get it back. Along with some of his! <laughs> that's that that's Paris for you. He's nasty. He's evil. He's going to suck your blood. Feels like something that should be in Castlevania, but he's not. Right. We're gonna use Elvis from now on instead of Beast, because Beast is a. Uh, Beast has lost all his usefulness when it comes to uh, the rock types here. Uh, Elvis hasn't. Love that sound. Anyway, we're gonna act recklessly because we're bored. And he didn't survive it, so we can't do the this is how we do it thing. Ah. Anyway, we'll take this guy on. Can you defeat my power? Yes. Yes, I can. Because first you've got a Geodude. It's got two arms, so I guess it's powerful. However, it's against a Bubble Beam, so it won't last. Gone. Right. Experience. Next up it is Stone again. If this is all you've got, then yes, I will be able to beat your power. Another transparent ray. Gone. Your third one better not be a Geodude. Gellin. Oh, it's a, um, Graveler. Sorry. <laughs> Is it gonna kill him? Yes! Well done, Elvis. One hit knockout on all three. You deserve the level up there, Elvis. You deserve, deserve the level up. Ah. Now, see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's a... There is something up here. There's something up here, but I think that's the way out. Fnatic has made a challenge. Oh, a slow poke up first. I've got Elvis. He's psychic type. We're gonna act recklessly. Is he gonna kill him in one? No. He's gonna use confusion. Which is critical, which is super effective, yeah. Making troubles how we do it. Kicking your asses how we do it. Ah, oh, love it. Yeah, Don again. It's another Slowpoke. Right, we're gonna bring in Paris for this one because he's got double effectiveness here. Because Slowpoke's part water, Paris is part uh, grass, so that doesn't work. 
And also, Slowpoke's part Psychic, and we're part Bug, so again, it doesn't work. Basically, against a Slowpoke or a Slowbro, the best Pokémon to use is a Parasect. However, it is part... actually, no. Uh-oh, we're poisoned. But we're still gonna suck your blood, because that's how we roll. Nearly beaten. No! You can you paralyzed me! Damn you! We're gonna have to scratch your eyes out! Yeah! Finish! Whoa. Anyway, what's last? Another slowpoke. Okay, we're gonna bring in for this one. Uh Epe. Gonna, I'm gonna see this going three videos. I can see it going three videos and I don't want it to! Hurry up, Epe! Ha! Fail! Now let's do it again! I need three or more, I think, to beat him. Nice! That's it! That's all I needed! Well done, Epe! Very fair play to you! Victory against the Fanatic! You're so angry! Well, good for you. Is there anything down here? No! What the hell? There was... What? Did I just see what I thought I saw there? There was something there. I saw ya, I saw ya. Right, act recklessly on this fool. There was something down there and I didn't see it. Ooh, a level up for Elvis. Nice. Oh, stop it. Gee, dude. Yep, we are going to be spending three videos on this one, it looks like. Damn it! Now oh, well. That's because I'm going through, like, everything. I rarely, like, stick around. Oh, for God's sake! What is it with, like, having loads of... Loads of Pokémon in such a small area? It's like going back to Gen 5. Jeez. Now stay dead! Let's go down here, and get into another bloody battle! Zubat, again. Will you go away and die? If you, if not, if not, then Elvis will make you. He has the capability to do that. He's that good. Anyway. Ugh. Encounter overload. We're gonna use Thrash again. We know what it does. One hit knockout. There you go. Gone. Anything here? Nothing! I went down here for nothing! Great! Elvis. Again. Transparent Ray. Again. Death. Again. And Elvis is doing the killing. A matchup. Very rarely you see a wild matchup. Same, about the same, I think, as seeing a wild onyx. They're not bad. You know, again, you got to trade really to get the most capability out of them. Same with, like, for example, uh, Haunter or uh, Kadabra. You know, you are going to need to trade to get the best results out of them. Anyway. That's another one dead, another one dead, another one bites the dust. Ah, oh, jeez, stop it! Oh, an onyx. Onyx. If you appear on me one more time, I'm gonna hurt you. <sighs> okay, Elvis wins again. Yay. We're at the final hurdle, I think, now. This will probably be the final battle of this part, and then we will leave this part and do another one. Bellsprout. At a bit of a type disadvantage here, but we're going to act recklessly, because that's what we do. Is he going to beat it? Yes. Well done, Elvis. Next one is going to be PP. It's going to be a Clefairy, so we might as well keep Elvis in. Making troubles, how we do it. Oh, nearly. 
Oh, what a shame. Making troubles, how we do it, and you're dead. Win for Elvis. Right, folks, we are going to go for a break here, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the X's, and I'll see you for the next part of Pokemon Green, where we escape this hellhole. See you then.